Well, thanks for inviting me to talk about the last of the eight elements in the 10,000 Days Wheel of Life Assessment, and it is fun and recreation. You know, one of the ironies of life is that we work so hard to get ahead and make money that we forget to enjoy the journey or to have some fun. So this is why the course weekend retreats focus on fun and recreation. Here are a few tips I've learned to help you sprinkle a little more fun and recreation in your life. First of all, the type of fun and recreation you might enjoy will depend on whether you're single, married, or have a family. Now, if you're single, there's lots of things you can do on your own. You can travel, take classes, exercise, visit museums, learn a foreign language, or go to concerts. And by the way, all of those activities are fun with a spouse or family, except airplane travel. You know, the biggest challenge we encounter during the course retreats is helping people get motivated to do something. It's easier when you have a spouse or kids egging you on. But if you're single, you really need to push yourself to have fun and stay active. And one of the ways we help you do that is to create an activities calendar. During the course retreats, we challenge you to plan out three activities over the next 30 days to ensure you sprinkle some fun and recreation in your life. And guess what? It works. So, if having a little more fun and recreation in your life is important to you, I think you should attend the course retreats. For more information on dates and schedules, visit our website at 10,000days.org. I'm Tom Hinton, and I look forward to helping you make the rest of your life the best of your life.